What's going, going on, on JJ, JJ family? family? It's your girl Jalissa and Jaden. Welcome back to our channel, you guys. And if you're new, welcome to our channel. As you guys can read by the title of today's video, we are going to be reading assumptions about us. And we're gonna tell you guys the truth. Yeah, I have a couple questions right here. Like, I have a lot screen recorded and stuff. Okay, so, the first assumption that we got, having a baby one to two years from now. Me, personally, I don't mind having a baby from one to two years from now. I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, if there is a little mini-me that pop up. I do mind, me personally, <laughs> um, because he doesn't get it. Like, he doesn't get it. I come from a big Hispanic family of 11. So, like, when he's sitting here and say he want a kid, he want a kid, like, you don't get it. Of course, we want a family. Who doesn't? Like, you know, have a baby with the person you love, the love of your life. You know, the person that you see yourself with till death do his part. The whole shit, bam, like, it's the beautiful. Whole it's beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. But we're only 19 years old. In two years, who's to tell? I'll be 21. For us, we don't mind having kids, but when we do have kids, we want to make sure that we have a foundation established so that when we do have kids, we can give them all of our time and attention, to spend real right. quality time and not have to be worried about anything. Okay, y'all, for the next one, one assumption is that you guys build a pillow fort when you have nothing to do. We've done it one time. We've done it one time. It was an accident. Like, I didn't even, <laughs> we didn't even mean to fall asleep in the fort. But all I remember was waking up and hearing the birds chirping. And it, was, <laughs> it was so funny. For the next assumption. He just wanted to be a close up all over me. Yes. That's no, the I'm just The next assumption is you guys only eat out at restaurants and fast food places. By the way, I love you guys. We love you too. We love you too. Shout out to lovely Sarai. I think that's how you say your name. If that's how you say your name, we love you too. If not, I'm sorry. Not the best at names. I'm really not. But that is true. That is true. If you be following up with us on all of our social media links, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, like we usually are outside eating or eating at a restaurant. Is that bad? Is that bad? I don't think it's bad. Like we cook sometimes in the house. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Yeah, we just eat out most of the time just cuz like we're working most of the time Like we're, we're not like sitting around in the house and just watching the clouds go by. No, we got to do. We got dreams we want to chase so we literally just get up and like we're always doing something We're never not doing something. No, for real. So cooking takes time and like, you know, which is fun to do sometimes Like, you know, it's fun to cook like it is but I'm saying sometimes, you know, we're too busy working We just want to grab something quick and that yeah. that just happens to happen very often everything you said is totally correct like most of the time it's hard for us to find time in the day to um cook because by the time we're like we're done with everything we're just exhausted whole day already went by it's like six seven o'clock at night and then that's when we start getting tired and then we want to like shower pick up the house a little bit because we can't go to sleep without it being too messy exactly, exactly. i probably clean the house every other day like, mop vacuum wipe down everything every other day but then literally we'll fall asleep at eight but then we'll be hungry and it's like so we just be like, bro, I'm ready to go to sleep. Like, I'm hungry. So you, know, you, you gonna make something? Nah, you gonna make something? Nah. All right, let's just go get something quick. So for the next question, Jalissa is more aggressive than Jaden. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but y'all gotta understand, babe. Y'all gotta understand, right? I was born and raised in New York, in the Bronx. Like, this is what this is what we do. This is where we from. Like, this is how we act. Like, you know, when it's around you for so long, you just adapt to your environment. And I adapted to my environment because I was born and raised there. So, Jaden is from California. California is very calm. It's very, like, you know, everybody's happy, bubbly. It's nice, cool people. Everything is chill. Where I'm from, we just have to be loud and crazy to keep our guard up. So, yes, I may come off as aggressive. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really that aggressive i feel like you're more aggressive it just depends okay fine that's a lie <laughs> literally okay fine fine y'all win you guys are right fine mm -hmm. <sighs> i'm stressed i'm stressed you stressing from that one yes okay yes. Take, that was very stressed let's take deep, three deep breaths <sighs> one more one more okay there it is okay. there we are Okay, for the next assumption, Jaden be acting tough around everyone, but is a big baby with Jalissa. That is, drum roll please, hooray! Give me some, give me some. Yeah, yeah I'm that not is gonna correct. lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna keep it 100. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, I feel like every boyfriend does that, everybody in the relationship does that, where they, they have a soft spot for their spouse. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, it's not necessarily that he acts tough, but it's just like, he's not about to come up to you and give you cuddles and kisses, so how, what else, how, how else do you want him to act? 
Like, you know what I mean? Next assumption is you guys argue a lot. And um, the truth is that is wrong. We don't argue a lot. I'm not trying to sit here and say we are perfect, you know, because no one is perfect. I promise, like, we don't argue as often. I feel like we're really good at communicating. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll literally just sit here on the couch and be like, okay. This is where I feel like we explain each other's feelings because it'll give us a better understanding to see where she's coming from or where I'm coming from and right. then we can meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's like, it's like if I if I feel some type of way and I'm yelling at you and doing all this, it's my, not gonna resolve anything. Exactly. If he's yelling at me, she's gonna yell back. And then my point's not gonna get across. Her point's not gonna cross. We're just, we're just yelling gonna... at each other. And then you know I'm not gonna lie. At the beginning of our relationship, when we used to argue, we used to just like drop it and pretend like nothing happened. Nah, more so she would just end the phone because we was long distance. We was long distance. She would just end the phone. Okay, okay, not too much. Like in person, when we first will argue, like we'll just pretend like we just let it go. Yeah, we're like we just let it go. We just pretend like nothing happened. But then later that night, we would get into an argument and then like bring up that situation. Yeah, and then like it's just like a cut getting deeper and deeper, and deeper. Like you never spoke about the situation, so you never closed it. That's it's just true. like an open situation. An open wound. Yeah, and if y'all just act like everything is cool, cause like that's my man and I, I'm never gonna leave him. Like no, that's kind of toxic, babes. I'm not gonna lie. We feel like because it works for us, it may not work for everybody, but that's why we try explaining everything in the way that we feel in the moment or wait till a little bit later when we're ready so that it doesn't get worse or doesn't get brought up back in the future because we move past that situation right so right, it's right. Irrelevant. because think about it if your boyfriend made you mad and then y'all just go and act like nothing happened it's like then if he make you mad again you're just gonna remember all the times he done made you mad and then bring it up and then you're gonna bring it up and then y'all just gonna keep arguing yeah. so yeah the answer is no we don't argue because we are mature about this we just sit down get straight to the point it's all about communication you guys. Yeah, just to see how you guys can build from that situation. You feel me? Because not at the end of the day, there are always going to be disagreements, but it's just how you resolve. Them. Next assumption. I'm just going to say it to y'all. Like, I'd rather bring it up to y'all now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm this perfect person. And I want to show you guys this by answering this assumption. Somebody has said Jaden is a hothead. I do, you feel me? I'm not gonna lie. I be doing my thing. I do be doing my thing. But not as much. Not as much as I used yeah, to, yeah. but I do be doing it. And day I'm not perfect. And I'm gonna sit here and tell you that I'm not perfect. But I'm working on myself each and every day to make sure that I'm improving from who I was yesterday because not everything is a next day thing. It is a process. Period. Put your bestie in a pack and I'm smoking her too. <laughs> what? <laughs> the next one is, are y'all gonna get married? The answer to that question is yes, of course we're gonna get married. Of course. Like, what? This is my man, my man, my man. My woman, this is my woman, woman, woman. I'm gonna be honest, like, I just feel like um, I don't need a ring or like a certificate to say that I've been married for me to think that I'm married. Because in my head, I've been married to this man. We know that we wanna be with each other for the Right, rest. and I literally don't want no one else. Right, I don't give two. Oh, thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's Living a Prosper Dot Shop. Make sure y'all go check out. Living a prosper dot shop below. Cause to be honest, bro, we could yep. sleep in a cardboard box and live in a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be the happiest girl as long as it's with him. You guys love God and each other so much. Of course. Yes, that is, we look, is true. Of course. We look at each other like God has blessed us with each other. God has blessed me with her. And God has blessed me with him. We keep God in the center of our relationship because if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't have learned patience, understanding, and we wouldn't have just learned communication and love, true, genuine love. So we thank the Lord for blessing us with each other each and every day. For real, for real. So cute. Y'all probably gonna have lots of kids. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's impossible. What's a lot? Like, yeah. what's a lot? Drop down in the comments which I think is a lot. What number of kids. range? Yeah, like. Give us a number range. Because personally, I could do four, five, six, seven, maybe, you know, it, you never know. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of like three, four, but if, I, if five, six, seven, eight come out, I, with all due respect. <laughs> I think I would like a big family. Personally, I come from a big- 11. 11, 11, 11 of y'all. So I come from like a background of having big family. I think like three, four kids is good. Mm -hmm. But if I have more, you know, like I said, five, six, seven, I won't even be mad about it because I'll literally have my own football team or soccer team. Parties ain't gonna be boring. And I can just imagine like when all my kids are older, it'll be like six, seven of them and then they'll literally be grown and it'll be so beautiful because then they'll have kids and then we'll have like a, a big, big house. family, a big house. 
house. Yeah, and then it'll be so fun and great. Y'all gonna be invited to the parties too, don't worry. The last assumption is you guys had bad grades in school. <laughs> nah, I had good grades. Well, I was a goody two shoes. I was a teacher's pet. Yes, the fuck I was. And it's not even like I intentionally wanted to be. I just genuinely loved school. He was one of them kids like, hi, miss. We're ready for school. Yes, the fuck yeah, I was. Like, huh, because, huh. yeah. Let me see the posture. Like this. So, wow, y'all like, see that? Okay, but let me tell you guys why. I don't care. I love learning something new. Like, my brain thrives off hearing and learning new information. Okay. Yeah. Is that a saying? Fuck no, baby. Fuck no, baby. Me? I had all C, Ds, and Fs. Like, it was bad. Like, I would try and I would still get a D. Like, if you're watching this and you are not doing as good in school, I don't want you to think that you're going to be a failure because I promise you, just because you're not good at school, it doesn't mean that you could be good at different things in life. That doesn't mean you should stop trying. Believe in yourself. Keep trying. Right. But I just want you to know at the end of the day, grades do not define who you are, what your work ethic is, and what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at me. I had C's, D's, and F's. And people ain't believe in me, but God did. God did. Did. And I thank the Lord for the position I'm in each and every day. Lastly, I know he said it was the last assumption, but I'll give you guys one more because I love you guys so much. Y'all don't be getting freaky at all. <laughs> what? What kind of question or assumption is that? The what question is? is, I am a freak. I talk to myself in the dark. Yeah. I am. Yes. Like, I do talk to so myself. Shit. I am a freak. Oh, ah. oh, okay, now let me stop. The real question was, you don't show affection to each other. We don't like showing affection to each other in front of everybody or like on camera. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know I cannot keep myself off this man. The truth is that we don't like to do PDA because we respect not a lot of people could be comfortable with PDA. But trust me, when the cameras are all off, <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Yeah, y'all, this is my man. I cannot do anything without Jaden being there. I can't sleep. If he stays up on the game, I would literally wait wait for him to stop playing the game at like one in the morning, then to come go to sleep with me. Then I'll go to sleep. But it's because you guys got to realize the beginning of our relationship was long distance. While I'm in California, she was all the way in New York. So the time that we really wanted to see each other, we would have to take a flight and see each other like every other month. Now that we don't have to go through that anymore. If I make her mad, she can't end it on me. She's <laughs> right here in front of my face. Like, Okay. We were long distance for a whole year and some change, almost two years. You know, let us know in the comments if we should do being separated from our boyfriend for 24 hours. If y'all want that video, let us know down in the comments below. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making this video. Appreciate you guys for supporting us each and every video. And we appreciate you guys for being a part of the J&J &J family. Subscribed or not subscribed, still love you and wished you a blessed day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you. But that being said, you guys, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on them post notifications. If you've been looking for some fire clothes this fall, go down below at livingaprosper.shop. Go get right. We love you guys so much. See you guys in the next video.